Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and welcome to part two of my Tic-Tac-Toe GUI series. So you might be wondering where did all this code come from because in the last tutorial I did not have this but as you can see this is a lot of code to type out so I will be going over this code in this tutorial so don't panic I'm not going to leave you out in the dark. But I want to start off with our default constructor. So let's actually implement our constructor. So I'm going to say super. And if you remember what super does, it calls the parent class. So tic-tac-toe GUI extends the JFrame. So I'm calling JFrame's uh, default constructor. But I also want to do a couple of things within our constructor here. So I'm going to get the content pane. So I'm going to say pane, it's a sign get content pane. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't have to use the this keyword. This is referring to myself. So if I'm referring to myself, remember tic-tac-toe GUI is a J frame and a J frame does have a method called the get content pane. So I do not actually need the this keyword. So I could do something like that. And now I'm going to set the layout of the content pane. So I'm going to say set layout, say new grid layout. And then we're going to make it three by three, control shift O to import the grid layout. And now we're going to set a couple of settings. So I'm going to set the title. So set title, tick, tack, toe. We're going to set the size. Now, these really are just uh, cosmetic things. You could really put these settings anything you want. I'm going to set it 500 by 500. Set resizable. Again, this is all optional. You don't have to do it. I'm going to say false. I don't want the user to resize it. We're going to say set default close operation. And we're going to say dispose on close. Finally, we're going to set the visibility to true because if I can't see my GUI, what is the point of having it? So I'm going to set that to true. And now we're going to start initializing some of our fields. So we have a field called current player. So the way I have it set up is player X always goes first. So in our constructor, we're going to set that to X. We're going to create our board. So I'm going to say new. And this is a three by three J button. That looks good. And now we're going to set has winner to equal false because we just started the game. It's just been created. We have no winner. And now the two most important methods that I'll be going over in the next tutorial, we're going to have to initialize the board and we're going to have to initialize the menu bar. So I'm just going to copy and paste both of these. And there you go. This is our uh, tic-tac-toe constructor. So I do want to go over our has winner. Now has winner, I really didn't go over in the last tutorial, but I highly doubt you want to see me type out this whole thing. And I don't want to type this out because I'm going to make a bunch of mistakes. So basically what has winner does is it gets the board Remember, board is of type J button. The J button has a method called get text. And now I'm comparing get text and I'm seeing if it's equal to our current player. So this is comparing uh, index 00, 10, and 20. So this is comparing the first column like this. And basically, if the text that the J button has is equal to the current player in all three of these positions, what does that exactly mean? That means we have a winner. 
So I have our J option pane dot show message dialog. I'm passing in null because it doesn't have a parent component. And now this is the message that I want to print out onto the screen. So player X or zero, whichever has three of the same thing in the line has one. So basically when this is true, I want you to print the winner out using the J option pane. And I want you to set this equal to true. Now, this tutorial really doesn't go into why we set the has winner into true. And this is to prevent the user from updating the GUI uh, interface further because we already have the winner. That means the game is over. I don't want the user to touch the interface anymore. So that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. I hope you learned something and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Like, comment, subscribe.